Hi, it's Iris Carlson. Sorry for what I'm wearing. I just came back from the gym and I just want to record a quick video showing you something really, really cool. And that's actually a leap motion that I want to show you. It's this tiny device over here. It's very, very small. It's kind of like the size of a USB. Uh, and I really like this thing. And I'm going to tell you a lot about it. Uh, a couple of months ago, I blogged about leap motion and they were kind enough to actually send me a device. And I've been using it during sessions, such as sessions that take days and just showing off the device because I'm so fascinated with touchless technology and I really believe that's the future. So I'm doing a session at .NET conference, .NET Conf it's called, on Friday. This conference is a virtual conference. It's Thursday and Friday. It's completely free and there are many, many really good sessions by by people I really, really like and respect. So if you have the time, make sure you check it out and watch the sessions. Now I'll be doing a session on the Leap Motion, showing you the device, uh, how it works, talk about its inner workings, and also of course show you some code, the APIs, and some really cool stuff. But I thought just like a sneak peek, I want to show you something really cool because two days ago I received an email that they actually have Google Earth now has integrated Leap Motion, so you can actually navigate through the world and stuff like that using Leap Motion. So you'll have the world at your fingertips, and it's actually the first time I'm going to try this out. So hopefully it's not going to be a really bad <laughs> experience. I haven't done any gaming whatsoever, and I'm not used to uh, I'm not used to this kind of things so let's see how how it goes I'm gonna turn off the light so you can see the screens a little bit better on the left hand side uh, you basically are gonna see uh, my fingers they're gonna be drawn out as lines in different colors on the right hand side it's Google Earth so I'm gonna turn off the light and we'll have a little bit of a play cool so hopefully you can see my hand as well and whoop, too quick so if you just watch now the, the, the Google Earth thing I just need to find there's kind of like a dot in the middle I can see it's kind of telling me where I am at now I haven't calibrated the leap motion to uh, to work ooh, with this screen in particular so uh, it, it might be a little bit hard for me to actually navigate so I'm, I'm trying uh, finding something really cool okay I don't really know where I am. Uh, I can't read. I get motion sickness really, really easy actually. But here we go. Uh, look at that. Can you see the mountains? This is so cool. Let me go a little bit further. This is really easy actually. I was expecting it to be a little bit harder, but it it feels very natural. And I, I've seen a couple of YouTubes like people uh, also with leap motion, and everybody says the same. It feels really natural. So wow. Oh, this is really cool. I'm actually working on a couple of applications where I want to use the leap motion, so, such as hospital applications, which is really, really cool. So hopefully I'll be able to show that on Friday as well. Okay, now let's go up and above and fly. Woo! <laughs> and go back down again. And wow, it is really cool. So that was just, um, I'm not sure how much you can see, but I'm going to turn on the light again. Go. So that was basically just a really quick example and if I close down Google Earth I'm gonna just you can see on the second monitor there how well it tracks my fingertips. This is really really cool and actually even if I use both hands and you can tell the difference between my thumb and my other fingers uh, which is so cool and I don't know what else to say. I'm really, really, really looking forward to showing this device on Friday. So please attend my session and all the other sessions as well. And this was it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.